Mixed Rock presents the sexiest criminals to get arrested. Number 1. In the age of social media, sexy criminals are now a thing. One of the first people to get noticed for his mug is Jeremy Meeks. He set hearts aflutter with his arresting <coughs> good looks, catching the attention of Facebook women and some men. Jeremy is not a good dude though. He was charged with street terrorism and resisting an obstruction of justice. His mother insists that he is just misunderstood. Possibly capitalizing on his sudden fame, she started a GoFundMe page after Meek's bail was raised to $1 million. She says that Jeremy is a good guy and people judge him wrongly because of his tattoos. Of course. Number two, the phenomenon of sexy criminals isn't limited to men. Angie Scalamente Valencia is undeniably beautiful and made a living from her looks. She was a beauty queen and lingerie model before turning to a life of crime. She is alleged to be the ringleader of one of the world's most largest drug syndicates. She also recruited others, but only if they were pretty enough. She would only hire models to smuggle drugs. Immediately after she was busted, Scalamente changed her appearance and attempted to hide. She successfully evaded arrest for five months, despite chatting with journalists on Facebook. She was finally captured in a Buenos Aires hostel in 2010 and was subsequently sentenced to over six years in prison. Number three. Another in the lineup of sexy criminals is this green-eyed hottie. He was arrested after an altercation on Halloween. Mr. Sean Corey was pushed past his limits after spotting a guy in a Fox News reporter costume. After spotting the offensive Halloween getup, Sean allegedly screamed, I hate Fox News. He then attacked the costume dude with an aluminum tennis racket. No words on where the weapon came from or whether it was part of a costume that Sean was wearing. Number four. Next up is Stephanie Boudoin. After her arrest for burglarizing homes, she became known as the beautiful burglar. Once a bikini picture was posted of Miss Boudoin, there was no stopping her rise to viral fame. Rather than making a living with her looks, Stephanie instead allegedly took a life of crime. She has over 100 charges pending. Too bad she didn't try modeling. Social media would have approved. According to the Daily Mail, she is now known as the newest, world's sexiest criminal. Number 5. Yet another model who ended up in front of the wrong camera, Angela Coates, knows how to charm a lens. It seems like professional models should be disqualified from winning a sexy mugshot contest, but social media is not known for its discernment. Good looks will get you places, and possibly get you bail paid. Social media fans came forward, offering to pay her bail. Of course, it was only $360, but still. Luckily, there was no need for her legions of fans to pony up, as she was released the same day. She, of course, claimed she did nothing wrong. Number 6. And then there's that mugshot that was used to turn a profit. Meet Megan Simmons, whose image was appropriated and used in an ad. She was not compensated for the use of her pick and sued the company. A twist on the internet mugshot fame, Megan's police pick became used for internet memes. Never one for hyperbole, Miss Simmons' lawyer compared the unauthorized use of her mug to a company using a celebrity photo without consent to sell toothpaste. Number 7. So this one isn't exactly like the others, but still, criminal, mugshot, fame. Not sexy though. Meet Monica Hargrove. She called the police because she didn't like the picture they chose to publish. She was upset because the photo wasn't flattering. She demanded it to be taken down. Unfortunately for her, the police have these mad skills and tracked her down. Guess crime doesn't pay. Or rather, it doesn't pay to be that vain. Unfortunately for her, her plan backfired. Rather than making the unflattering picture go away, instead the image, linked with her name and info about her crimes, garnered over 50,000 views on social media. Number 8. Last but not least, Stephanie Woods. 
sentenced to 15 days in jail plus community service. She was on probation for armed robbery and kidnapping when she violated probation terms. She has embraced a life of crime. Before her latest, she was arrested at Denny's for running out on a $25 bill. But that isn't what she was famous for. Known as the Cookie Monster, Woods robbed a Girl Scout. She took $168 from a scout selling at a grocery store. Even worse, after being caught, the video confession shows that she has no remorse over the incident. Monstrous indeed. Thanks for watching. For more, please subscribe.